Ooh, what is up guys, and of course, welcome to a bit of a showcase, actually, that I'm just running for, for fun. Uh, it's not a particularly good build or anything like that, I just want to kind of throw myself in there. Uh, we're going to bring a Sticky Web Lifter reset with the Raccoonid with Liquidation Skull, uh, Leech, Leech Light. Um, Cilium C variant of Flying on with Outrage, Earthquake, R and Tail, Dragon Dance. A Salt West Mill with that, because it's awesome. Choice Bandit Decidueye with Overgrow. Still think Overgrow is better than Long Reach, even though I kind of like Long Reach, but Overgrow is, like I said, still better. Uh, Steelix, uh, Mega Variant with uh, Stealth Procs and Roll. And uh, last but not least, kind of mentioned at least, Barbarical, uh, because White Her Herb is just so extreme, I really want to like that. Uh, so, some opponents here which clearly like to bounce some items. Um, I don't believe. I think it's best lead against me with the B to Rotom. Actually, I think Rotom is a very fair lead against me, so with that in mind, I think Meloetta is my strongest Pokemon to start off with. Also, as it brings um, anything else you try to do really well here, as we'll see, Hulk Smash. Uh, so that works for us. Uh, we can't really go for a Psychic here, um, as it stays in. So it's a Salt Vest, a Dynamic Punch, actually. We're kind of predicting the knockoff here, so that kind of works. Uh, I'm gonna send in, uh, since when it was a Salt Vest, uh, I kind of want to send in the Decidueye, I think it's kind of risky, but let's do that, as it brings in Mr. Steal Your Girl. Uh, we can just Spirit Shackle him here, since he's gonna be locked in, so that's car risk, as it brings in the EC Oven Bake, uh, so he, he can no longer escape, however... I don't doubt speed is Pokemon, so with that in mind, I'm predicting him to Volt Switch. You're gonna bring me with that, can I? Uh, go directly for over here, and we live. You know, you know that's that's kind of tasty. Uh, that's really, really good. Um, man, we needed that. How awesome is that? Um, so, I think his best... We're going about it would be to volt switch from here. Um, I think that would be his best play in mind. Um, and that kind of knock us out. I kind of don't want to risk it. It keeps going for an overheat though. So now it definitely isn't necessarily that good on attacking. So I'm going to bring in Barbarical. Uh, I'm going to Shell Smash directly because there's really no reason for me not to. Um, as it brings in Squishy. Um, that thing could potentially burn us. Uh, we're going over Stone Edge. I don't... I really hope I land this. I do! I see Willow me, bastard. Okay, but it's not all bad. It's not all bad. It's kind of bad, but it's not all bad. As Mr. Steel, your girl, comes in. Um, I can Shell Smash again, can't I? I don't believe he threatens me that much. I really don't believe so. Stealth Rocks, yeah, that's that's not gonna work. As I can keep going for Shell Smash, I'm pretty sure. He, yeah, he, he feels he feels something is going on. Um, I'm clearly faster than everything in his team now. So um, the thing that knocks me out though is uh, wow, he's not gonna take any bigger risk here. That's okay. Um, I should go for liquidation here, shouldn't I? He protects? Okay, that works for me. Um, wow, he is really struggling here. Uh, I was predicting him to switch out, which he didn't get a crit though, so that's kind of nice. Seismic Toss, bro. That's where it's at. Um, so it does whittle us down here, but I feel, I feel comfortable. Just keep going about it. Um, as this time I'm going to go for a liquidation. Really hope it doesn't switch out. Uh, fuck. Well, we knew that eventually was going to happen. Um, and I'm going to keep going for liquidation. Because <laughs> I think eventually the radio seal comes in. And there it goes. We're going to knock you out because fuck off, radio seal. Um, and I'm pretty sure my Sham should be able to bullet punch me here. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to go for return. Yeah. That works, you know, I'm I'm completely fine by that. Um, of 
question is though he still doesn't switch in that well against uh, huh I kind of like this scenario to be honest um, Spirit Shackle does such a big chunk on him and uh, I really have no reason not to go for that if Espeon comes in then that's okay it's O-Code by Shadow Sneak uh, so he does decide to sack that and like I said here I only need some prior damage I think I'll flag on and I should be fine um, so I'm in a good spot I'm in a surprisingly good spot even though clearly I should have played that Pokemon differently the uh, yeah, against this Pokemon it is a rank one it and it's basically the sack play. Um there really are nothing else to it. Um we do think that's fairly well right actually. I'm I'm surprised I did that. Uh, so I'm gonna go for Leech Live. I think uh, Squishy is his best switch in and I don't necessarily mind. As uh, so I'm pretty sure I can go for a sticky web here. Uh oh you forgot about the water bubble, bitch! <laughs> so yeah, I, he can't burn me or anything like that, and I have a stick web up, so he taunts me, but now it's too late, as I do 11, so I don't necessarily recover too much, but I don't believe he can hurt me either, so this is a matchup which I think he eventually lose, um, because I stated I can't get burned, um, I don't know whether or not I should alleviate myself in any way here, but yeah, this is definitely a stalemate. Uh, yeah, he figured that out. So that's fair, as Pussycat is going to fall. That's kind of funny. That was that was definitely not a play. Uh, he has to realize that, right? Uh, you're going to Volt Switch on me, right? I'm not wrong on this. I am not. All right, Mega Evo and Heavy Slam um, as a Fly Dong. Okay, this is GG. This was exactly what I needed to happen. Um, I can just lock myself now into a Spear or Shadow Sneak, and that should be game. Uh, so my to my opponent there, you know, GG and whatnot. I really think um, I really think I pushed the boundaries here. Now I'm gonna go for Heavy Slam. I think I can survive an overheat. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, at this point. I am fine as uh, there is no way my opponent can win. Choice Bandit, Shadow Sneak should take him out. It's going to take out uh, Jelly Sin too. So, if anything, you know, you'd mention, tell him GG. As uh, this was kind of exciting, not gonna lie. Um, oh, that stinks though. That stinks. Is gonna recover stall on me? No, he isn't. Thank Lord. I was gonna say, all I was gonna say is that he could do that, but it wouldn't matter. Um, this was kind of an insane spot when it comes to which one of us is going to win. And as stated, you know, this team is definitely not the best. I'm not inherently saying that it is. This is mostly to play for fun because I like this. Ooh, sand team though. Oh, gotta love Gigalith. Um, I do believe though that the Zidroy do makes for a fair lead, so we're gonna start with that. Probably start the timer. Uh, she doesn't have a Leaf Blade switching. Definitely not a banded one at that. So we're gonna do the best <laughs> out of that and just spam that. As we're probably gonna knock him out. Yeah, fuck off, Gigalith. Definitely didn't expect that. All right, um, I was not expecting him to be so easily KO'd. Now, Arachnid is unfair. Switch in here, as uh, he's gonna go for Dr Draconium C, and that's the physical Draconium C, and that clearly, clearly alleviated anything we could have done. So, hey, okay, um, huh. I can't help but find that a bit a little bit annoying. Alright, but we can use at least the this to our favor as we have um let's see goes for earthquake, it shouldn't do too much for us. We have sand force bitches! Mm. 
I really like that aspect. I'm not gonna really deny that. As uh, let's see here, I can go for stealth rocks freely. Um, I do manage to survive that. Oh, it's a lifeful variant. That's really cool. As uh, clearly, I'm gonna sack this Pokemon. There's really no reason to it. Goes for knockoff. That works for us. As uh, let's see, this is clearly Sand Rush. Uh, for at least three more turns. So this is going to be faster no matter what. Hmm. And clearly has knockoff. Um, I think I just need to go for an earthquake. Uh, I don't think I want to waste his own turns. Uh, I really can't set up versus this Pokemon, at least not yet. Uh, as he goes for knockoff, that's alright. Earthquake does, does damage. Uh, that's the thing though, that's the thing though, I, I can't set up because I have a few more turns of, uh, yeah, I need to knock him out. Not particularly fond of this, uh, but quite frankly, since he's rushing me, I really can't stop him. I'm gonna at least, um, yeah, because this Pokemon comes in, I, I won't really, I don't want to sack this Pokemon, so I'm gonna go to Melawitha. Uh It goes for hidden power, I think that's alright. Um... I'm gonna have to send back Flygon, because I'm expecting that Pokemon to come in. The Shield Up, or whatever it's called. Uh, we should be able to go for a CR and Tail with pretty much a big safety net here. Uh, yeah, so he does, does decide to sack that, so we're gonna Corkscrew Drive that Pokemon to the death. And uh, yeah, I mean, from here on out, there's really no way of my opponent of winning. Um, Melowetta kind of deals with both of the opposing threats here, so Hyper Voice, mm -mm. that's that's not gonna work, buddy. As we should be able to go for a Psychic here, um, hopefully knock it out. Actually, um, yeah. So that should bring in Pelosand. You shall not pass, and I'm pretty sure we do. A Shadow Ball shouldn't KO, but it should do a decent chunk. Is whether or not his Shadow Ball doesn't carry it, and Assault Vest breaks through. As we're gonna say, piss off Palisand, and that's a victory in our favor. Um, yeah, aggression is paying off clearly. Um, all right, one more game, and that will wrap up this uh, session. I just kind of want to showcase a few ideas that I had. Oh, that's a cloister. That's a cloister. So this is a fat team. This is definitely a fat dish team. Um. I think Maletta just makes for a fair lead here. Um, as he starts off with the Paragon. Which gets an attack raise. I can go for Charge Beam, I think, here freely. And gets my special attack up. Guarantee. As Triatag is his way of maneuvering around me. Clearly, that wasn't what he was expecting. As we should go for Focus Blast here. Uh, Sensing Rotom. Ooh, and we do Damage. We do the damage, and we're gonna not knock him out. So that's unfortunate. Pain split, really now. That kind of stinks, though. Right, gonna get some special attack race. Uh, I don't believe he can knock us out. Uh, most certainly not now. And we're gonna at least retaliate here and clear off the Rotom. Um, though clearly he can send in the side ocean. That should be the end of that. Um, I don't have the best switch in to the side Oge. however, I think I still have use of Meloetha, so I'm gonna bring in a Raquanid. Extreme Speed shouldn't do too much. And we should go for Sticky Web here, actually. Um, Manibus is gonna go for, and that's okay. Um, we can Skull here. I'm gonna go for Knockout, so that's kind of up there. Um... And we get the burn, so all of a sudden Manibus becomes kind of irrelevant as Liquidation should do a fair chunk damage here. Now he could be trying to root that off, but I think he would be better off going for Braver trying to knock me out. Uh, decided not to do that, so I don't know what that is all about. Uh, so we can do the same thing here actually, or so I thought. So stick away over here, I, I like that. Um, really, Thunderbolt. 
So it's probably, let's see, try attack. Try attack Thunderbolt. They don't want to show me more than that. I kind of, that's kind of mean, I think. Uh, we should be able to send in Steelix, though. And now I'm kind of expecting him to um, send in Manibus here to try to alleviate anything I'll do. So we see the Ice Beam. That works for us kind of nicely. As I'm pretty surprised it didn't switch out. Um, so we're going to nullify... Oh, look at that. It's Roar O'Clock, I think. So that kind of sucked, actually. did not want to get poisoned there. Let's see, he brings an Umbreon, that's okay. I'm gonna just roar, really hope not the mana bus. That's here comes the Cloyster, so Sash is broken, uh, and the White Turb is broken. You can't shell smash versus me, you have to switch out, and you go and do so. As I'm gonna keep going for roar, really hope. No, we, we are fucking up Cloyster at this point, right? There is really no way about it. Um, so it goes for Icicle Sphere. It doesn't knock us out, does it? Hey, we roar yet again. Bringing in the Porygon and as we fall. How cool is that? Um. <laughs> so, right. Um. So we, I think we bring in the Sidua here, going for that Bandit Leaf Blade. Um, I think we're on a good spot here. I don't believe uh, he has any real switching besides Cloyster. And Maniba shouldn't be faster than me, so we're going to knock him out. Uh, so his remaining is Umbreon. I'm switching out against Umbreon, most certainly. Um, I wanna, don't want to take a gamble on that one. Um... I don't want to let Cloyster set up either. Um, is there any middle with that? Sacking it, most certainly. As he wish passes, so that's kind of up there. Um, right, gonna go for Focus Miss. Um, so that did not go as I wanted to, I definitely say that. Um, So I think my best play here is going for Liquidation, just getting the damage up there. Goes for a Toxic, actually, so that's kind of mean. Let's Shell Smash, hoping for no foul play. Shenanigans. Hmm. I went to protect, fair enough. So what I need to do now is spam Liquidation uh, so he's in range where um, because I don't fall yet, I know that. Come on, baby, keeps going for wishes. I right, go for a banded U turn. Don't think I'll lose too much for that. Ah, oh, really thought I was getting him in range here. You're just gonna stall me out. Ah, oh, it's the beauty of the game, isn't it? There comes the toxic. Ah. Oh. I don't know what it is, but I found this part so intolerable. Come on, baby. Come on. If I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose to being dumb. That's fair enough. Um, uh, I'm kind of pissed about that. To be honest, I really thought I was in a stronger spot than I ended up being. Here comes the Cloyster. Clearly has eye shot, and it should be enough to take us out here. 
And yeah, he's gonna keep going for that with a little to no regards. It's gonna work in his favor really well. As all I really can do is go for Leaf Blade. Um, I'm gonna hope for some weird, weird ass crit. As um, besides that, there's really nothing I can do. Um, oh. It's alright though, it's just one of those things. Like, I should have done a lot better here than ending up doing. Um, Let's see, did he decide to attack me here? Ah, and it worked. Damn it, I was hoping to get myself in range of, uh, oh, what do you call it? The, um, oh, I can't remember its name. Um, the grass boost, basically. But anyway, that worked out quite right. You know, it's my mistake there. I should definitely shell smashed more with my, um, <laughs> um, what do you call it? I, I like, I forget the names of every god in Pokemon. Um, I was going to say Basculine, that's not Basculine, Barbarical. Should definitely have Shell Smash more with that. I think I could have done that with little to no regards. Uh, kind of messed up during the matchup. But you know, that's the game we play. Um, he clearly had, his only way of winning was stalling me out, and clearly that worked. So, jokes on meter, if anything. So, with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this session. And, you know, I'll see you as always next battle. Till then, take care. Bye.